What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. I'm coming at you guys to show you how I'm going to clean this nasty, nasty fish tank, okay? Y'all know I've been gone for like the last two weeks um, in Florida having fun with my family or whatever, but I'm back. And this this fish tank need to be clean. It needed to be clean before I left, but I didn't have time. I had to hurry up and leave. I'm going to show you guys how I clean my fish tank um, real fast. Um, so... I'm going I'm to zoom in because, y'all, this, this is fish tank is a mess. This is a mess. Let me show you guys the top of it. I actually have a cover that go over that. I'm going to see if I can come in and let you guys see, like, what's lurking under there. Can y'all see that under there? The nastiness hanging up there? That's like grossness. So I'm going to show you guys um, how I get rid of that. Let me first get my I get this thing right here I got this from Walmart a long time ago I'm just gonna clean this fish tank out I dip it in the fish water and I just go up here and scrub it with this brush scrub that nastiness off with this brush honey as good as I can because this is I'm trying to show y'all the easy way I can do it without having to take everything loose but y'all ain't even seeing what I'm doing Y'all didn't even see what I did, child. Anyways, I just scrub this here like, and just getting all the nastiness off with the actual water that's in the fish tank. The nasty water. So, that's what I'm going to do first. Clean it off with the actual gross <laughs> water. I'm going to see if I can get those um, pieces of whatever off in there. I got, a, I got some buckets down here on the floor. So I'm gonna scrub this while the fish still in there because I need to use the water. And I'm scared of the fish, y'all. I'm scared of the fish. So um I don't go in there and take the fish out. I do not because I'm scared of the fish. So go in there and scrub this whole glass with this and clean off all the algae and all of that stuff that's on the glass. And what I'm doing, uh, why I'm doing it like this is because um, I move the rocks around a little bit in there too. So that way I can, um, when I suck the water out, all of this dirt will be in the water already. Then I ain't really got to worry about coming and cleaning this glass afterwards. Get all of this stuff off right here. And then I'll be good to go. Just make sure. I get this. This brush right here come in handy, y'all. If y'all ain't got no brush like this to clean y'all fish tank, y'all need a brush like this. That look a lot better already. And I just soak the water out the tank, okay? Just get this. I have this hose right here. I don't know what it's called. A fish tank sucker hose vacuum or whatever. And... Put as much water in here as I can. I got some buckets down here, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the buckets in a second. Once the once my fish tank start, I stick my hand in there like that, and I fill this up, and I let the water come out. Then once the water start coming out, I get my finger and I catch it at the at the end of the tube, and then I just let the water start running out of the tube, and it run out like a faucet. It's the water running out now. I'm gonna show y'all on the floor what it's doing. Y'all excuse the mess. It is what it is. I don't even know how to let this thing down, child. Hold on. Now, this this one bucket right here. See how the water coming out? Once that bucket gets so full, I'm going to just take this hose and move to the next bucket. And then, I will have my son empty out all of these buckets when they get full. Because I ain't got the strength to do all that, y'all know. And I only drain it to, like, this much of the way. And then I put more water back in it once it's drained that low. And then I um clean out the rest of the tank. I mean, fill more water back in it. Okay, y'all, let me show y'all this part right here. See how full that bucket is? I don't want to get full to the top because I got to actually walk this water through my living room. Now, while this water still coming out like this, put my finger here, switch to the next bucket. And it's still coming out. See? Then once all the buckets get to a certain height, have them take it out. And then, uh, I'll show you the next step. Okay, also, y'all, while these buckets getting full, once this water gets so low and I can stick my hand in here with no problem, without being scary cat, 
I also suck the water off my rock. You see that? Sucking the water off the rock. The rock sucking and it just like vacuums the dirt. The dirt off of the rocks. Because my rocks in my fish tank is white. But you can't tell it because it's so dirty. It don't pick the rocks up and push them through the hole. Ooh, look at that. It picks the rock up, but it don't suck the rocks through. Ooh, ooh, that's dirty. Can y'all see that coming up out of the... Let me zoom in. See that dirt come out of those rocks? Watch this. Look how dark that is, you know. Woo! See that green stuff, a whole bunch of it. Now I'm gonna switch buckets cause this bucket down here getting full and I'm gonna switch to another bucket, that's all. So I get all that algae off the bottom. You lift it up and get the algae off. See all that green stuff? Oh my God, this is real dirty. I almost feel ashamed to show y'all this, but I'm pretty sure somebody fish tank out there need hip like this one. And it's heavy and you can't lift the whole thing up and take it outside. So you just got to take your time and go through these rocks like this. Pick them up, put them back down. And, um, it's two fish in here and it's an algae eater. That child, I don't tell you what an algae eater is. He probably ain't in there no more. I am going to add some more water in here. And then I'm going to suck the vacuum the water out again. You got to do it like two, maybe three times. Depends on how clean it is. So, um, and also before you fill the tank back up for the last time, you got to clean out the filter as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the filter stuff out. So, that way, if any leakage I got from the filter, uh, can come out, come on out in that dirty water in the tank. So, that way, I ain't got to worry about um, re-dirtying up no uh, clean water. So look at all that grossness on the filter. And then I got this part of the filter as well, which are both green. I'm gonna see if I can come in closer to you guys, show you guys the filter is green. So I'm gonna just put it in this bucket here. I'm gonna get my holes and I'm gonna just squirt those out. This this fish down here crazy. That's what his name, Crazy Jamie. Um, Scuba named him that because he do all that flapping and stuff around in the tank. Well, I got the water hose in the house, by the way. And I got this, I got my filter pieces in the bucket. And I'm just rinsing it with my water hose. I ain't gonna use that old filter. I got, I got brand new filter. So I'm just gonna use brand new filter. I got these cartridges. Um, I got two more left. I got two more left, so I'm going to put one of those in there. Sometimes I try to be, like, save and see if I can clean out that filter. That filter don't look too, too bad, but I'm going to do both sides and I'm going to see. So it don't got too much green stuff on it, but I'm going to clean it out some more. Try to get that off the top. And um, see if I can still work with it. Now, while I got this hose out, I'm just going to get my hose. I'm going to put this in a dry bucket. <laughs> and I'm going to get my hose and spray my filter out. I'm not going to take my filter out or none of that. Skirt it in the filter. Just rinse it out. Do the good rinse. All that water is going to drain to the bottom. Uh, I really ain't worried about the fish, y'all. If you got some real sensitive fish, I wouldn't recommend spreading the filter like this. But my fish, they are right. So now what I'm going to do, since the filter clean, I'm going to take my hose and I'm going to squeeze it and lock it so the water can go in now. See? Right. I'm going to let that water come to the front. See what I just did? Let the water just push out into the rocks. 
and fill my tank back up. Let that hole sit there. Hopefully it won't flat out. And y'all can see the fish on the other side so they're not being harmed while all of this water is shooting out in there. So while that's happening, I take this hose and get it ready to go like another round of picking up uh, the dirty water. Okay, y'all see all this green, nasty water coming out of there? All that nastiness. That's like, that's like the second round, too. The water's still dirty. We're gonna have to do a third round. But look at the tank, though. Tank is getting better. Getting a little bit better. Okay, y'all, see how clean the water is getting? It's not as green as it was before. So, um... I'm going to do one more round, and then that's going to be it. But I have a problem. My algae eater is stuck in a rock back there. I don't know if he did or alive, child. But I'm going to have to get one of the kids to get in my because um, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. I'm not about to touch no fish. I'm scared. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> okay, y'all. I am back. I'm completely done. I just want to show you guys the... Stuff that I use for my fish tank. These are the bio bags, filter cartridges um, that I use to put in my filter. And this is the fish food that I use. I get this fish food off Amazon. It's a big one. I, well, I got this off Amazon for the first time. Usually I get it from Walmart. All this other stuff. This came from Amazon as well, but these came from Walmart. This is to keep the chlorine out of the water, make the tap water safe for the fish. And this right here, you guys. Hold on, let me see if I can get a clear picture of that right here algae control this is the main ingredient that helped me get the green stuff out of my fish tank no matter how much i clean my fish tank it was still green um in the fish tank i'm gonna zoom in in case you guys having the same problem that i had this worked i put like three or four um, i don't know i might have squeezed it about 10 times that night it says do it in the daytime, but I did it at night before I went to bed, and I woke up, and it was clear. And it says to do it every three days if the problem um, persists, but mine was clear after that. After that, I had to worry about it no more. So, I'm going to show you guys the fish tank. Okay, you guys, this is what the fish tank looks like now. I got some fish. I went and got some more fish, y'all, um, from Walmart. I got a little... Um, those are, those little fish cost, I think it was 28 cents, 28 cents each. Those are the cheap fish, and I like them fish. I used to have them in my fish tank back in Florida. Well, this is the same fish tank that I've had for years, but when I was in Florida, this tank was full of those fish, and they actually grew. They only cost 28 cents, honey. You don't need to spend no money on no extra fancy fish like them ones in there, that one, and that one. My husband bought those when... When I first put the tank together because he was excited and I told him, you ain't got to spend all that money on them fancy fish. But he wanted something that looked different. But if you're an exotic fish lover, hey, go ahead and spend you $20 a fish, $10 a fish. But um, I ain't about that life. We got 28 cent fish, Shibu, and they're going to grow. Those fish are usually like the feeder fish. The feeder fish that you buy and feed your Oscars. That's what those fish are. The fish that eat fish. These are the fish that the fish eat. That's what the and I have this, um that is a a, a sunken ship. A volcano, and then I got the white rock and a turtle. That turtle ain't real, y'all. The little alligators and I got bubbles coming out of him and there is a little um squid right there at the bottom. So the fish tank is clean, y'all. Clean, clean, clean. Thank God. Finally over with, y'all. So, I oh, let me turn the light off and show you guys how it look with the light. Okay, see? This is what it looks like at night, y'all, when I turn the light completely. Well, not completely off. I turn it to, like, the blue light, and it looks like this. And the fish swim around in there. And I also have, that, that light is under there. It's on top of the thing. But also in the volcano, there is another light. I got that volcano from Walmart, and there is another light inside of the volcano. If I turn my fish tank light completely off, you can see it changing colors. See, this is what it looked like completely off. 
and the volcano light changes from green to blue to red and stuff. See it's green now? Now blue and purple, pink or whatever that is. It just keeps changing colors so it looks kind of cool when I turn the lights completely off and that's when the uh, the LED light, the blue LED lights on, and that's when it's all the way on, y'all. So, that is my fish tank, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something now. I hope y'all learned something. And that's all I got to say. I'm going to end this video right here. Y'all go clean out your fish tank if you got one. If you ain't got one, go get one, okay? Anyway, y'all, that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.